Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create taxonomies for the custom post type in Elementor. Let me show you an example of the custom taxonomies that I have created. This is a listing of cars and you will see the taxonomies in the right hand sidebar. And you can also filter the taxonomies using the filter plugin. So here in the right hand side, we have taxonomies. If I select one of the type of cars, it will filter the listing according to the type of car. If I select the other option, you will see listing for that particular taxonomy. So these are the two different taxonomies that I have created, the type of car and the brands. So I can filter these cars according to the type of car as well as according to their brand. For example, if I click on Audi, it will show the cars listed under this particular brand. If I select BMW, it will also show the cars listed under this particular brand. Here you will see a remove filter option. When I click on it, it will also remove the filters. So we are going to create taxonomies for these custom post type. And we are also going to filter these taxonomies. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create the custom post type using the Jet Engine plugin. So this is the post type that I created in the last video. This is the video Elementor custom post types and custom fields using the jet engine plugin so in this video i have shown you how you can create the cars listing using the jet engine plugin if you want to watch that video i'll give you the link in the description box now in this video i'm going to create the custom taxonomy for this particular custom post type created using the jet engine and i'll also show you how you can filter these taxonomies so let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. So this was the website that I created where I have shown you how to create the listings of the cars on the website using Jet Engine plugin. Now this is just a listing of the cars. Now I want to create taxonomies or categories for these cars and I want to use the taxonomies to filter the cars. For example, I want to filter different types of cars or different brands of the cars. So we are going to create taxonomies. So let's go to the dashboard. We are using Jet engine plugin and in the previous video we have created post types that was for the cars let me show you the post type that we created this is the post type cars and we have created custom fields in this post type we are on the jet engine and under jet engine you will see this option here taxonomies click on it click on add new so this is the first taxonomy that we are going to create and let's type in the name for the taxonomy that will be let's say type of cars so this is the name of the taxonomy and this is the slug of the taxonomy now we need to select the post type you will see different post types here this is the regular wordpress post type the pages media revisions and here you will see the option cars this is the custom post type that we created using jet engine so we are going to select this post type cars and this taxonomy will be applied only to this cars custom post type so you can enable this one, edit taxonomy or meta box link. Below that you will see labels. So I'm going to use the label type of car. This is the label. Apart from that, I don't think we need to make any changes to any other settings. It will get automatically. So if you want to change the labels, you can change the labels. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it as it is. You can see that all the labels are populated automatically all the labels are good so i don't think we need to make any changes here all right so these will be labels below that we have advanced settings is public yes it should be public so that we can use it in filter publicly queryable yes show admin ui yes so all these options are enabled rewrite slug rewrite let's enable this option also hierarchical so we are going to enable this option below that we have meta fields click on create new meta field and from the field select a radio you just need to create one meta field and under field type select radio and i'm not going to make any other changes click on add taxonomy all right so we have created one taxonomy here now let's go to cars and under cars you will see this option here type of car 
right now i'm going to create another taxonomy click on taxonomies again click on add new and let's name it as brand of the car or you can also name it as company of the car manufacturing company so this is the slug post type will be again cars edit this one labels will be brand so i'm not going to make any other changes here advanced settings let's enable all the options let's enable the hierarchical under meta fields click on new meta field field type change it to radio and click on add taxonomy now under cars you will see two different options here let's go to cars and uh, these are the cars let's go to edit one of these cars and in the right hand side you will see the options brand of car and type of car right so we have got it on the custom post type let's go back to dashboard again and now let's go to brand of cars okay now here you can add different brands for the car let's say i want to add bmw slug will be created automatically click on add new category other the second one will be let's say audi then we have ford all right so these are the five different brands that i have added you can also add description if you want to add description let's go to type of car and here i'm going to add different types of the car let's say sedan hatchback suv mpv all right so these are the four different types of cars i have selected now let's go back to all cars again this is the cars page here and these are the cars we have added let's go to edit one of these cars this one is named as bmw suv and this is the car and under brand of car you will see these options again so i'm going to select a bmw and type of car will be suv click update all right so this car will be under bmw and it will be marked as suv right now we do not have added anything about the type of car or the brand of the car on the single product page template so you can edit the single product page template and you can add this information on the single product page template also so for that you can watch my video how to customize the layout of the single cars page all right so we have got two different taxonomies let's go to the cars page here this is the cars page and we want to add a filter let's say in the right hand side of this page so on this page all the cars will be shown and i'm going to add a filter in the right hand side so that these cars will be filterable all right let's go back to dashboard and we are using jet engine so i'm now going to install the jet smart filters plugin this is also a plugin from crocobrock so let's go to plugins and click on add new i'm going to install that plugin i already have that plugin downloaded so i'm going to upload that plugin jet smart filters click on activate plugin all right so in the left hand panel you will see crocobrock and under crocobrock you will see the options let's go to dashboard of the croco block and we have these two plugins installed jet engine and jet smart filters you can go to settings of the jet smart filter and all these options are enabled in one of the previous videos i have shown you how to use the jet smart filters plugin if you want to watch that video i'll give you the link in the description box so now let's go to smart filters here and we are going to create a new filter click on add new and this will be a check boxes list so i'm going to select this one and let's add the filter name and let's say type of the car this is the first filter check box list is selected data source for data source i'm going to select taxonomies under taxonomies you will see the option this option type of cars so you need to select data source will be taxonomies taxonomy will be type of car and leave the other option as it is show empty terms yes even if there is no car in that particular category it will show that listed there here select use custom query variable 
click on this option go to taxonomy under taxonomy select type of car so this will be the variable filter label let's add the filter label as type of car let's say cars and active filter label will be let's say type of cars again and let's click update or publish all right so we have created one filter here now let's create another one click on add new and the second will be brand car brand that will be car brand again select check boxes list select taxonomies and brand of car custom query variable select taxonomy and brand of car again here you can label you can add the labels and click on update so we have got two filters now we need to customize the layout of this cars page where all the cars are shown and for that we used the elementor theme builder so let's go to templates and go to theme builder in the previous video i have shown you how to customize or how to create this layout so we are going to edit that template so let's go to theme builder go to archive and this is the template that we created in the previous video so let's go to edit all right so this is the layout i'm going to make it full width and this is how it will look we have it full width and now we are going to add a column in the right hand side so let's click on this column and click on add new column let's change the width All right, so this is the column where we are going to add the filter so let's click on the plus sign here and look for filter and select check boxes filter and drag it and drop it here and from here select the type in the name of the filter that we created the first one will be type of car so it will show the type of car here this filter is for elementor pro archive and let's click on show the filter label and let's update it right now let's add a divider here and again add a new filter check boxes filter and the filter name will be brand again select elementor pro archive so it will show all the brands here all right let's select show filter label also update it all right so this one is showing only one type of car let's go back to dashboard smart filters type of car click on edit all right here you need to select show empty terms click on update all right now it will show all the type of cars here so we have added the sidebar let's go back to the cars page refresh it and now you will see the filter in the right hand column so let's go to all right so it's not going to filter so it's not working let's go back to the template layout and this is the brands so let's change it to jet engine so that this this filter for jet engine so we're going to use jet engine option for this one and this is for the brand do the same thing for this one also select type of cars and change it to jet engine click update let's go back to cars refresh it now select Ford for the Ford we do not have any listing let's go to BMW and we have one listing for the BMW so this one is working so far now let's go to the dashboard and let's add the taxonomies for each car let's go to cars here let's go to quick edit okay we have it here under quick edit we can change we can add the taxonomy so i'm going to select this one then sedan this will be sedan update so you can add the taxonomies for these products this one is already let's use hatchback so i'm going to do it randomly all right now let's go back to cars and refresh it and let's select suv all right so it seems that this filter is not working 
the type of cars is not working let's go back to dashboard let's go to smart filters go to type of cars filter and disable this option we have custom query variable enabled let's update it disable this option is checkbox meta field let's refresh it select mpv all right so it is working now suv yeah it is working all right now we are going to add one more button here which will reset the filters so let's go back to the layout and search for filter and you will see the option here one option here which will remove the filter so we are going to use this one remove filter drag it and drop it here so when someone clicks on it it will remove the filters click on jet engines this filter for jet engine all right click on it let's go back refresh it let's select suv you will see two suvs here and as soon as i select one of the filters you will see this option remove filters so if i click on it it will remove all the filters select tata from tata we have one car let's select audi and from audi we have two cars select toyota and from toyota we have two cars one is sedan both are sedan if i select hatchback there is no hatchback from this company so i can remove the filter so when you remove the filter you will see all the cars listed so these are the taxonomies created whenever you add new car or new product you will see the taxonomies in the right hand side you can select that particular taxonomy and it will be added to filter this is how you can create taxonomies for custom post type in Elementor using the Jet Engine plugin. And you can also filter these taxonomies using the Jet Smart Filter plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.